What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, and today we're playing some KSP. Today is a special day, actually. I should preface by saying that it's our three-year anniversary today. So if you're watching this, thank you, because you're a part of that continued success. You're a part of the reason why I do this. So I cannot thank you guys enough for three great years. I'd love it if you comment and tell me that you've been here since, you know, blank. If you've been here since... Oh, I've been here since you did the Final Fantasy VII Nostalgic November. I've been here since your one-year anniversary. Tell me how long you've been around for. That'd be really cool to kind of see, actually. Um, so yes, today we are playing KSP. I have uh, reimagined. This is the AC-130 ICBM drop from about a month ago. He said, like, a question. Yeah, about a month, month and a half ago. We had a, uh, an AC-130 with an ICBM-like device in it that we dropped out of the back. Uh, today, I've converted this to hold... What have we got in here? Apparently, I can't tell you what they are. They're bombs. Um, someone sent a video, and it was like a bomb mod pack. And I thought I'd give it a try, uh, just because, you know, the analogs of using fuel tanks don't always work well. So, here we are. Um, basically, testing this mod pack. If it's good, I'll link it. If it's shit, then I'll probably remove it. By the time you're watching this video, I won't even have it in my uh, in my mod list anymore. Uh, so we're going to torque back around towards our fake carbon copy of Cape Kerbnaveral with all its cardboard cutouts, fake cars, houses, you know, things that we drop bombs and then they videotape it and then they look at it later to see the destruction. That's what we're going with anyways. Um, hello. We are hemorrhaging height. We're hemorrhaging... We're making speed, actually, which is great. We should be able to get this height back as we finish our big banking turn. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Stoic. Stoic as usual. No smiles? Ladies, come on, please. Nothing? Fuck, oh, bitches. They must be synced up already. So we're going to drop these bombs. And we're going to hope that they are awesome. Because if they're not absolutely awesome, then there's no way I'm going to keep them. I'll just go back to the, uh, the fuel tank analog. Because I much prefer Kerbal analogs. So people have been suggesting a lot... I'm going to segue into this portion of of the dialogue. We're, people have been commenting a lot about a game called Simple Plans. I don't want to play it. I looked at it. It looks like it looks like a cross between this and Flight Simulator. So I have a great Flight Simulator, and I have this already. So I don't know why I would play Simple Planes, other than to just build planes that look like real-world planes. That's just, I don't know, it just seems pointless to me. It's, I'm sure, I'm sure it would garner some views, but I would rather build whatever I was going to build in that, in this. And if I want to fly like a real P-51 Mustang, I'll go do it in X-Planes. Because X-Plane is fucking awesome. Um, I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop our load. Bye. Oh, they fell really nice. They fell really nice. I did a quick save, so this is our first, this is our first like test run. Why are those still attached? What the fuck is going on? I'm, I'm certain those were supposed to break away, right? <laughs> or whatever. Whatever. Um, what the fuck is going on? What is... What? Are they in level flight? Look at the prograde. Can I roll them? No. Did one just explode? Nope. We're going like... We're going... I think we just broke the sound barrier. <laughs> this is ridiculous. They're leaning back a little bit, so these fucking tail fins are like creating just the an iota of lift. And look at prograde. Prograde is literally rising towards the horizon because we're picking up speed and the nose is up. We're in fucking plane mode. This isn't bomb mode. These are fucking... These are like hang gliders. What the fuck is going on? I want to see... Damn it, no. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I want to see that one explode first. Come on, big explosion. Come on, big... If they ever hit the ground... 
those were fucking stupid. Right? Those are supposed to be... Why is there an explosion up here? Those are supposed to be nukes. Not bombs. Those are supposed to be like uranium something or other. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's do a quick load. Alright. We're going to dump these things literally as fast as we can, but we're going to go on a downward trajectory to try and actually get them to hit their mark. So I'm, I'm already pretty certain that there's no way I'm going to upload or sorry, uh, put the put the download link in the description. Because uh, these aren't technically bombs. They're more like guided missiles without any guidance systems. All right, let's try that. Pull up, pull up, pull up. All right, we're gonna throttle back, set this guy on a nice cruise. There we go. Want to be at the middle so I can see what's going on. Well, we missed a little bit, but I think I know how to hit it. Right? Just basically just going to go fucking straight down at it. <laughs> if they're going straight down, this lift won't mean anything. Look at them go. They are full on flying. That pr Oh my god, it's just about to come out to level flight. Almost. Almost. Alright, let's do a quick load. We're going to do a nice glide. way up, because I'm not sure what's going to happen on this mega descent. But yeah, we're going to come right over the top, and then just drop the nose. That's, no, well, that's the plan, anyways. That is the plan. Whether or not the plan comes into fruition, let's find out. Alright, we're coming over the shoreline. Bombardier has his sights set. is giving the signal. I just noticed, I think it's an all-female crew. I think it's an all-female crew. That's cool. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We're never going to be able to pull out of this. FYI. Okay. We're in a nice straight-down trajectory. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Boink! Bombs away. Bombs away. Bombs away. They are spreading out really oddly. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, that did not work. They hit the end of the runway. Uh, I think we can give it one more try. Let's give it one more try. All right, attempt. Attempt number four. I'm not trying to get height right now. I'm actually trying to keep kind of a stall speed. I've been informed this is called a high alpha. <laughs> trying to sort of keep a nice pace, but not too fast, because when I drop that nose down, I want us to be going very slow. Okay, we're going to come around right a little bit. I'm sort of using the center spine of the plane as a, as a, a line of sight. So I know if the sort of spine of the plane is pointing directly at the space center, that we are going straight at it. So if you're ever wondering what I'm doing when I do this kind of stuff, like this, and then like this, and then like that, and then like this, that's what I'm doing. I'm just sort of imagining a, a hypothetical straight line down the spine of the plane. And using that spine to tell me if we're on target. We are way off target. We are way off target. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull some Mission Impossible Tom Cruise moves. Oh man, oh god, oh god, this is awful. Oh god, 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 oh god. Okay, here's what we're going to do, folks. Here's what we're going to do. Oh my god. Oh no. Pull up, pull up, pull up, you big dumb son of a bitch. Please kill something. Oh, yes. Did it not even take that building down? 
pussies. Is there one more? Nope. <laughs> Just a random decoupler. All right, let's go put this thing down for a landing. Um, so in conclusion, the uh, the bomb mod fucking sucks. Fuggin sucks. All they need to do is just get into whatever like the craft file is or whatever for those parts. They just gotta get in there and take the lift rating out. If there's zero lift rating, I think they'd fly a lot better if they were just under the sort of gravitational attraction of the earth rather than some kind of weird flight dynamics. I think it would go I think it would go a lot better. I always forget the front torque on this craft. Okay, oh, do I have a button for Nope, okay, I made no reverse thrust button. Because these engines do have reverse thrust, which is really handy for landing a big, heavy aircraft like this. Actually, now that it's empty, it's a lot more nimble, but it's got a lot of, like, engine weight and cabin weight. And, and I think there's, like, a giant gas tank on the front because this is sort of like a long haul craft, so it's carrying like a thousand units of fuel, I think. It's got 380 left. Okay, we're coming in really hot. We're coming in like... Jeez, we're doing like 350 miles an hour. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get the wheels down. Let's see if we can keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight. Okay, we're going off the end. We're jumping. We're jumping. We're jumping. We jumped. Okay, had a little mishap there, went off the runway a bit, but we got her down safely with our, I think it's an all-female crew. Is it an all-female crew? Girl, girl, girl. I'm pretty sure I'm a girl. Cool, all-female crew. Look at that. Awesome. Girls rule. Boys to rule. Or something like that from elementary school. All right, guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you comment. hope you share. Um, like I said earlier, I hope you comment on how long you've been watching. Now that we're at our three-year anniversary, when did you join? So guys, until next time, peace, love, happy flying.